Hey everyone, Animonster here, and welcome to Blameless. Um, I know absolutely nothing about this game, but I saw it on Steam, it was suggested for me, so I decided why not. I know that it's a horror game, and it was it was free, so I'll put a link to it in the, in the uh, description. But um, yeah, I just... let's just get started. I have no idea what to expect. I'm an architect. Freelance. So I take job offers as they arise. So, when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. <laughs> it was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply, because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. Yeah. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain first glance it seemed like brick dust but then I realized it was blood spilled on the floor of course I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured so I turned to tell the man that's when I saw his hand raised to hit me he was holding a metal rod before I could defend myself he hit me in the head I must have passed out I don't know how long I was out <sighs> Oops. when I woke up When I woke up, there was a loading screen. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. That is very oh. bright blood if that's what it's supposed to be. It looks like uh, paint. That hurt. This bloodstain oh. does not look like it's the result of a banal injury. This looks like something was being dragged across the bloodstain. Seems fresh. Blood hasn't completely dried out yet. Yeah. I. F so I won't lie, the bricks actually threw me for a loop, and I felt like I was a lot taller than I actually am. Hello, what's this? <laughs> All right, I guess I have a phone now. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. The Can phone I? Is smashed. No way it's gonna work anytime soon. Um, soon or ever. Dang, this is a really good setup. Like, the environment is very, very well done for- oh, hey. Hello? <gasps> Hammer! No, I wanted to keep that. How do I- how do I- I don't want to drop it! Fine, I guess I'm dropping it. Ugh, the controls are a little weird, but... How do I... Hello, what's this? Is that a light? Might be able to get further through the attic. Okay. Do I need to keep this? Do I do something with it? I can't drop it. Oh. 
Or I can't put it in my inventory, I should say. It's around here. Alright. So I probably have to figure out. I can't out. get further through here. There's no door handle. <laughs> Classy. Come on, dude. It's not that high up. Can I, like, throw something at it? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hmm. So I know where I'm supposed to go, but... How do I get there? Hmm. Well... Trolls don't really seem to have anything I can do. Um, I have a flash. <laughs> I don't actually have a flashlight, but if I had a flashlight, I could turn it on. Maybe I can use that to. <laughs> I can't jump on anything. Oh, hello. Okay, I, I can hold it down, that makes sense. Alright, so... That's as far as it goes. Can I do anything with this one? No, I can't. So, obviously I'm supposed to crush something, but... Holy crap, the difference in that motion is a little wonky. Can I do something with this? Okay, there's a bunch of stuff that I can, like, pick up, but I can't do anything with any of it. Why would he hit me and then lock me in here? Yeah! Alright, what'd that do for me? Slipping. I can't turn it by hand. Okay. Got something. <laughs> I should bend the rod, but it's too tough to do by hand. Where'd my hammer go? No, seriously, where'd my hammer go? I don't remember where I dropped it! Well, this is awkward. Literally just had it. How has it disappeared? What is this fresh, fresh BS? You're not what I wanted, but I'll take you. Maybe I can use you. Hey. Make it progress. Shit, it's dark. What the hell was that? I don't know, but I don't trust anything. Also, my microphone keeps falling because I don't have a very good... I'm gonna get murdered. Anything over here I should care about? 
Nope. There we go. Hello, what's this? Uh. Alright, I guess I'll just take one of those then. Hello? Is this a wallet? Oh my gosh, it is. A library card belonging to Helen Woodward. How did it get here? Um... Probably via murderer? Just a guess. I mean, you did kind of get slammed in the head after seeing the fact that he already slammed other people in the head. So taking a wild guess on that. Man, this is really creepy. The atmosphere they decided to go with, with the, uh, freaking demolished house. It's holding with the wires. Okay. If I had a pair of wire clippers. But no, someone decided they couldn't put that in their pocket for some reason. Putting everything else in his freaking pocket. Oh, I can't get back up there, can I? Nope. All right. Of course, the assumption is that they left something that I can use in here to break the wires. Maybe not necessarily this particular room. But, I can't imagine they would expect people to actually bring anything with them from out of there if it doesn't go in your inventory. And I'm pretty sure I picked everything up, so... It's, it's holding with the wires. So... I have no idea what I'm using this for. Boy howdy, is there a frickin' light that I can use? Something tells me it's in here, but they don't want me to see anything. Alright, I'm second guessing my thought that it's in here. So, elsewhere. Man, he gets like super low when you crouch. It's really weird because I'm not. Oh, there we go. Here's just straight up wire clippers. Awesome. The wire cutters are broken. The hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. Well, thankfully, I have just the thing for this. Interact with any object in front of you, try both the screw and the wire cutter. The handle is not in place. Yep. Yo, there we go. I'm a tool master. Yep. Yep. Taking this with me. Never know when you need a good set of wire cutters. Sounds like we're outside. That's good. Whoa. Shit. Nobody's out here. Don't mind me.
hate going back through here. I don't even want to go back. Uh, alrighty then. The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. All right, thank you, sir. The dragging stain again. Awesome. We're getting closer to wherever it was friggin' supposed to be. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna freaking die. Can I just leave? Finally out of the house. Come on, your spray. You can. Oh, come on, your spray. You can leave. Just friggin'. You're useless. I don't even know your name, but you're useless. Can I open this? this? Anything I can open here? Oop. Broken. <sighs> Simpson Hopkin. And Anna Catwell. Dear Drew Constructions. Final, final reminder letter. Dear Mr. Hopkin, this is to inform you that according to our re records, as of the 12th of July, 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from uh, Dare Drew Construction Stores on, the 7th, on June 7th of this year. Uh, please return the scaffolding within 14 days upon receiving this letter. Should you choose to ignore this appeal, we will be passing this matter on to a, collective, a collection company which will be obliged to forcibly remove the scaffolding from your possession. To cover any fees or penalties incurred by such an action will be your sole responsibility. Note, you will not receive any more rem reminder letters 13 from us. July to Awkward. So is he just freaking... But why? This must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. What day is it? More dark rooms. <laughs> Please don't. Please stop with the frickin' music. Why is everything always locked? Because it doesn't like you. Should have brought the wire cutters. I knew I should have. Ooh. Stop it. Partially convinced all these freaking doors with no handles are where other victims are stored. But also, why and what's the point? I don't 
don't like the look of that dark corridor. Let's see if the light switch is working. Of course it's not. We already know that it's... Oh. Better. All right, I guess it is working. That's surprising. Would you stop with the music? Ugh. What the hell? Shit, she's... She's dead. address of this house. Was she invited here too? It's dust. I don't want to look at her face. I gotta get out of here and call for help. It's similar to what I found upstairs on the floor. She was being dragged over here through the house. I thought I saw somebody else. Nope, guess not. Alright. Yes! And he said, let there be light. Why is this person just murdering us all? Like, what is the point? Why? But for why? Locked. Of freaking course it is. Wow, that flashlight does, like, nothing. Oh, look! Scaffolding ladder! Okay, it does better when there actually isn't any light. Is there anything in here? I don't think there was. So can I interact with things when I'm actually using the flashlight? Because that would be wonderful. Would you stop with the creepy? Is everything always locked? Oh. And he said, let there be light. Alright, so I gotta figure out how to- Oh, wait, duh. Doesn't look like there's anything else of interest in this room. Anything useful here? What's this? Ah, oh, I believe this thing can open fuse boxes. So I thought I saw something moving and now I'm convinced that something's about to jump out at me. Now I gotta find the frickin' door again. Oh, uh, uh, it's a frickin' dumpster blocking the way. God frickin' dang it. There we go. Okay. Couldn't remember where the door was.
Honey, if the circuit trips again, first turn on the RCD switch, the smallest one, and then the rest of them. The orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click after you turn on the RCD. It may take a couple seconds, otherwise it will trip again. I need to take a look at this before we hand the keys over to the new owner. RCD 240. Test monthly. This switch looks important. Yeah, it, it These are already on. These are already on. These are already on. These are already on. Then what was the point? These are already on. RCD 240. Test monthly. This switch looks important. Okay, now what? I opened the frickin' fuse box. RC R R R C D two forty test monthly. This switch looks important. Dead body. Would you stop with the music? This is the way out. Jesus. This is scary. Shit, no power. The electric must have tripped with the whole garage. to leave? I guess I was supposed to leave. Jesus! Get away from me! <laughs> For what? What'd I do? Get down on your knees! But I didn't do anything! Get on your knees, now! You are under arrest! This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 he was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. 
Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Sorry. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. I oh, I swear. found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. No. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? Do I, like, black out? I don't know why you murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. But I liked it. The, uh, the atmosphere was very well done. Like, it, it was really nice. I liked that there wasn't really any... It was all atmosphere. It was all me being quietly panicky. <laughs> uh. That's how it all began for me. And it was far from over. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I liked that. I'll have to see if they do any more. Um, if you want to play it yourself, go ahead and I'm, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I liked that. It was it was very atmospheric. Very well done, guys. Um, but that's it for today. So until next time, this is Ani Monsters signing off. Have a good night. <laughs>